afternoon good evening wherever you are thank you for staying with us thank you for watching our videos you are amazing in the name of jesus brethren you are an expression of his grace you are an expression of his grace first corinthians chapter 15 verse 10 the bible says this is brother paul talking but by the grace of god i am what i am and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain but i labored more abundantly than they all yet not high but with the grace of god which was with me oh my. The, the achievement you see in your life is not because of your labor it's an expression of god's grace it says the grace of god was not in vain i pray for somebody watching me the grace of god will not be, be in vain upon your life grace and peace be multiplied unto you in the name of jesus oh god is saying my grace will be sufficient for you my grace is sufficient for you in the name of jesus in matthew chapter 19 verse 26 the bible says, with god with god with god all things are possible the God factor in your life is the God of grace. The God factor in your life is the God of possibility. Oh, my shakatara. Even yesterday, when we were talking about anointing, how to constantly walk in anointing, we talked about God should always be with us. That is how you can continue to walk in anointing. So the God factor in your life is, is the God of enablement. The God factor in your life is the factor of joy. The grace of God upon your life will not be a waste. God will multiply grace unto you in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, oh Lord, I submit to you. I submit to your will. I submit to your love. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. I love you so much. You are an expression of his grace. You want to give your life to Christ. You are here to confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The Bible says Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by him. He said, as many as received him, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God. Do you want to have power to be the sons and daughter of God? Please say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your words unto me today. Father, please forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Thank you for answering my prayers. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. I love you so much and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.